Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. First thing I do when I pull up is I hear a running Mustang. <laughs> that is a good sound to hear. That is awesome. Awesome. S smells a little rich. How's it doing, Paulie? Huh? huh? I'm gonna have to pull my alternator. Oh no, is it bad? Um, yeah, that looks good. I like that. That works really well. But the alternator isn't putting out. Okay, so maybe the alternator's bad. That's so, the story of our lives around well, here. I'm gonna, well, I, I want to get oil and, and filter and, yeah. and, and an upper radiator hose while I'm at it. Yeah, it the upper radiator hose is rubbing right there. Uh, and, and Fresh fluids, all that stuff. <laughs> How it works! <laughs> I mean, that's a great way to start the day, I think, at least. All right, well, let's get ourselves assessed. Let's get settled in and let's get some stuff done. Mm. There we go. All right, fam. Welcome back again. Dude, it's so crazy. That thing runs. I'm like, you don't understand. This car has been sitting for several, several years. If you look at the paint, looks like poo. It's been sitting outside, getting all the elements at, onto it. And this kind of, this car is going to give me a great opportunity. I've always wanted to like see if I could polish a car. Like, I'll watch all the videos on YouTube, all that stuff, but we're gonna see if we can bring this black car back to life. My wife bought this car when we very, like, literally, she had the temp tags on it. So within 30 days of when we met, it's kind of a cool car for me. Like, there's some, there's a little sentimental value in there. But anyway, um, what do we got? I'm not gonna work on this thing today, only because today is Wednesday. I figure I can knock the gas pedal out and then have all day Thursday and Friday to bang it out and it'll be ready to go. Juan's supposed to come out like Saturday or Sunday, I do believe, to do race car stuff. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm pretty stoked to just focus on this thing. Using that whole two minds are better than one theory. So let's get some stuff done. It's not crazy late at night and I don't got anything I gotta do tonight. Nobody's coming over, nothing. So I can just focus here in the garage. First thing I need to do is we need to make this straight or we need to cut it. Honestly, maybe both. Maybe both. <laughs> that worked crazy well. Let's we'll see how this thing fits in there. A few moments later. Guys, this is one of those moments. It's a little challenging because inside my head, I'm like, well, this should, I should just be able to rotate it this way. But you gotta take a couple things into consideration. Like, I need to make sure that my cable is moving at the right angle, right? I need to make sure that my pedal can rotate, right? I know some of you are probably like, well, what happened to using the gas pedal from the Audi, the other Audi? Well, it takes a little bit to get one. Things don't overnight themselves from Japan in 2022, so it's kind of like, uh, it's a waiting game a little bit. But there is one on the way. Broke Boy Customs on Instagram actually hit me up, says he's got one. He's doing a um, drive-by wire conversion, so he's had all the drive-by cable bits still in the car. So he's just gonna uninstall all of it, and we did some bartering, and it's on its way. But that said, I still kind of want to get this one in, at least, if anything, for the experience factor of, hey, it does, it is in there, it does work. If I needed it, the other one doesn't work out, I'm still gonna need this. So it's kind of like, either way it works, this needs to be done. But figuring out the angle of the dangle is what the biggest problem is here right now so the gas pedal needs to be able to clear down here which we can cut out the back side of this no big deal i made that to where we can cut it out the gas pedal was at the wrong angle from the get go it was like all the way up here and i needed to be more like down here i might just need to extend this a little bit and that'll bring it i don't know i gotta do some math i'm gonna just turn the camera on let it record move it around with me and we're gonna see what happens yeah that's the plan <laughs> Hopefully I can make an enjoyable montage for you guys. Let me speaking of which let me know in the comment section below What do you guys think montage skills leveling up try buy a new tool for that as well? Actually, there would be something pretty cool I could buy if I wanted to do better montages, but that's another that's a story for another day. Let's get into this
totally forgot we got this. Our tools arrived. Amazon Prime for the win. What is it? Where is it? Oh! Nothing else in there. All right. I don't think this is. This isn't the freaking thing. Pete's sakes. This isn't the kit for the TDI. This is. I got sold on some extra bits that I found on the internet on Amazon while I was floating around and I wanted it and it was cheap. This is a spring clamp tool kit. What is a spring clamp? So what this is, this is so you can go around the cylinder head and take the valves out. I thought this was pretty cool. I was like, ah, oh, I like that. Went in the listing, checked the measurements and it fits around a Audi cylinder head. So I was like, yeah, score. Score, score, score. It comes with these little bits that go around your uh, valve springs and then another little bits to hold on the retainers. So along the way working at Bob's shop, I've learned a ton of tips and tricks and little things along the way. Even some played with some really cool pneumatic tools to, for doing cylinder head work, right? Well, this is a little different. This is more of the manual labor way. I'm already thinking we might have to 3D print some inserts just so the valves have something a little bit more cushion to sit on. The spring retainers, not really worried about, but I just don't want to mar up a valve by accident, but that's super cool. I'm excited to get to use it. So the reason I ordered this kit, because there's an unlikely chance that the motor in the, the white Audi at my house might have some bent valves in it. And if it does, I've got the valves back there on the bench, take them out of some old heads, and I've got the tool, we reseat them, and we send it. And where are we gonna stick this? <sighs> Jinga. I gotta do a quick parts run, but pedal assembly's looking all right. So here's the pedal. I got a zip tie up here holding that bit on because there's gonna have to be a bracket of some sort that I attach here to put this end on because that doesn't go perfectly well. I went ahead and welded this top half to the middle section of the bendy boy, the joint, because I had this thing in there, which was that little angle offset bit, and that's trash but then we got the gas pedal down here now first glance it looks really far right but when you do the three and four finger measurements it's like five so it's maybe like an inch this way but the pedal also it's not in a bad spot by no means like it functions very very well i would honestly probably drive it this way like it would work clear clear my it's this heel to toe like push on the brake and roll down on the gas or just off the gas and brush the brakes. Complete and utter clarity here. Never been professionally taught how to drive. It's not to say I'm a bad driver, so I've never been professionally taught and I've never put my skills up against professional drivers. So how good or bad my quality of driving is, I don't know. I like to think that I'm pretty fast. I haven't died. <laughs> You know, and I feel like I've drove a little sketch. I've lived outside my comfort zone. But as far as how you should heel toe 100% properly, I'm not the person to teach that. I'm not the person to talk about it. I can base on theory on how I do it. It's not an awful position. I am thinking though, I might put this little bit back in here. And if you can see what that would do to the pedal, I'm gonna bring the pedal like over here, which I think that's gonna look a little bit better. I actually think that would work a lot. Let's do it to it. That's a whole lot better than last time. I did that, remember that bracket? Freaking, yeah, that thing? Ah, those welds look like poop. There again, I did sharpen my tungsten this time, so. Let's see how well this thing fits. You gonna put an alternator in? Um, not tonight. Ah, oh, you're pathetic. All right. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm old, man. Oh, please, you're not old. You're not old. <laughs> oh, I feel like a child right now. I had to put my dashboard in. I was in here, I was like, I'm like, oh, sometimes you just gotta be a kid. 
<laughs> Alright guys, so we got a gas pedal in. That's where I'm going to call it good for tonight. If the AI figured out a way to get you here, consider subscribing. All we do is goof around, build race cars, figure out how to fix our stuff and save thousands of dollars while doing it. And you know what? I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Peace. I'm Audi. <laughs>